Hi everyone, welcome back to my crime and policing channel. I am recording a video specifically to show you where I get some of my information from. So something I get asked a lot in the comments, um, through the more normal comments anyway, are where do I get my information from? Like, where do I find out my statistics and all this kind of stuff? Now, believe it or not, I don't just pluck them out of thin air. I do get um, the stuff I talk about from legitimate sources. So a lot in relation to like, statistics and things like that come from here, police.uk. I also look at the ONS, um, so your Office for National Statistics. I look at the local government pages. I get them from real credible sources. So I'm not just making stuff up. I also find all my legislation and stuff from the College of Policing, because it's always updated. Blackstones, which you know, I'm a big lover of Blackstones policing, but they've still not sent me any free books. Rude. So we're going to have a look at police.uk. I did do a video about this like years ago, but the quality was terrible. It was pretty much like I'd recorded it on an actual potato. Couldn't see or hear anything. It's very, very blurry, but we're doing it now on here and hopefully the quality is a little bit better. So I am spinning myself out a little bit with my camera thing because my, my image is inverted and I find that really, really weird. So if you think I look a bit peculiar, that's why. Well, a bit more peculiar than normal anyway. Okay, so we are looking at police.uk and I love this website. I use it all the time. So I've just been doing some research actually as part of um, a project. Just been doing some research about antisocial behavior and youth and poverty and all this kind of stuff in the UK in a bit to try and fix it, right? But I have a lot of sympathy for the youth of um, South Yorkshire, it's where I grew up and everywhere. So I do think, you know, we don't always get the same chances in life and sometimes there are things we could hopefully do to prevent people getting sucked into that world. Now, a lot of you who watch this channel are students and you're studying PCDA, DHEP, PPD, whatever. You're studying something to do with law and policing. Now, these things are going to be super useful for you. I know some of you are doing evidence-based policing right now, right? And we do use it all the time. It's not just something that's being made up for a laugh or just to make your job harder. Evidence-based policing has been used for years. They've just put a name on it. So let's have a look at police.uk. And like I said, I get so much info from here. Now, this is the first thing you'll see when you type it into any search engine. I'll use Google. So it's the first thing you'll see, police.uk. It's great. So if you're not a student, maybe you're thinking, you've looked on this channel thinking, how do I report something to the police? You can do it there. Yay. You can also report to your local police force as well through their own websites and obviously through 999 and other such things. So what we're going to look at now is this. Now, if you are looking for to contact, if you want some services or support, your first three tabs are for you. If you're looking at performance, like I've just said, or um, you wanna, you're interested about how they're maybe strategically led or your area, this is where we're looking now. And this is where it really gets interesting. There's also some good stuff on there as well if you're looking to report specific offences and you look at what's trending now in relation to what, what crimes are happening right now. Spiking's massive. We're coming up to Susan, Susan, <laughs> student season as well. So our students are going to return. You've all just finished the summer. Careful, cover your drinks. And then when you come back in September, careful, cover your drinks, okay? People do spike. It's not good. And it's not just um, through drinks anymore. It's massive. I've done a video on it. Have a look. Okay, so we'll have a look, quick look at performance. So performance is very interesting. I'm looking at South Yorkshire Police. That's where I used to work a long time ago. Um, I don't live in South Yorkshire anymore, but it's where I used to work and where I used to live. So let's have a quick look. You can look, this is pretty interesting, comparing your area to other areas. See who's better, right? Let's have a fight. <laughs> so... Um, you can see here, we're looking at police recorded crimes per 1,000 population. Now, this is interesting. Police recorded crimes. Hmm. Surely every crime recorded crime, right? Nope. We've got the deep, um, the dark figure of crime too. So, yes, police have their reported crimes, but there are so many crimes that don't get reported. That could be for a number of things. It could be that people are, uh, they don't trust the police. Maybe they don't believe anything's going to happen. Maybe they're scared. A lot of different things, language barriers, um, could affect you from calling the police. So this is just looking at what the police recorded crimes are. Now, I'm scratching my face because I've got a cut. I don't even know what happened. I just woke up that one day. 
I've got a bruise in my head when I hit myself with a bow staff, embarrassing. And I've got this coat, which is great. I look like some kind of um, gangster. Okay, so Wilkin is Sheffield, and we've got 103.84 per 1,000 population. Now, we're doing all right, right? So we're down here. We need like Torbay, Plymouth, you know, the seaside towns. As we get further up here, look, you can see where the higher crime rates are. Now, Leeds, uh, leading there. Oh, Leeds. <laughs> Sheffield and Leeds have got its rivalry, right? So I don't mean it when I say things like that. Um, I quite like Leeds. You've got a great cake shop from what I hear. So, yeah, um, you can see here crimes and where you sit in comparison to other forces. There are also different types of things. So we could put a specific crime in. Um, let's look for... Uh, what's interesting for people these days? Go for shoplifting. Shoplifting is massive, absolutely massive. Now, looking in our force area, so Doncaster has uh, Doncaster, South Yorkshire has four um, districts within their policing world. We've got Rotherham, Sheffield, Doncaster, and Barnsley. So we're looking at shoplifting. Rotherham is actually the lowest now, which is good. And Doncaster is way up there. Doncaster typically is. Um, pretty bad in relation to that anyway you can see it's per a thousand of the population as well so it's not done in total it's per a thousand and you can see Doncaster's is quite high so it does give you a, a good thing to look at and there's no lying with this there's no covering up it is very much there you can see how things have changed over time as well and i'm going to put shoplifting again on here because we know that shoplifting has um risen which is evident here look haha -ha, do know what i'm talking about so shoplifting is on the rise do I think that's got something to do with the current economic position? Absolutely, yes. And here we'll look. Um, so 2020, COVID times, not as bad. Coming out of COVID, oh, it's spiking. We'll get to where we are today. Economic crash. And it's pretty high here, look. Boom. Yes. Thankfully, though, this bit here, so South Yorkshire in general seems to be back on the decline. Still really high up, though. But there you go, very, very high. And that's what you can look for in relation to your area. Now, something that I find super interesting, and this is good if you are looking um, for particular details. So you might be thinking, um, okay, I'm doing a study on antisocial behaviour in South East Sheffield. So I want to see how much crime there is, how much poverty there is, and maybe compare it. And you can get those statistics as well from the government websites in relation to poverty and things. So we're looking at um, Sheffield South East in relation to crime. Now, violence and sexual offences is the highest. It generally is the highest on, on all of them. And it's such behaviour again, right up there, criminal damage and arson and public order. You will also get different things that pop in here sometimes. Uh, let me have a look if I can find. So last time I searched Sheffield Centre, yeah, shoplifting has superseded antisocial behaviour. And that's the first time I've seen this. So that's how prevalent shoplifting is right now. So while we're on this map anyway, I'll show you the crime map. This is where it gets really interesting, right? You can put your own postcode in, have, it, have a little bit nosy around if you want. But for me, it's particularly interesting if I'm looking for particular crimes. So keep an eye on uh, the side of the screen. We're going to go in the city centre. Okay, let's go near the unis. Okay, part of the campus. You've got three violence and sexual offences, oh gosh, uh, one theft, one public order, and you've got other crime as well. So this is telling us around this area near the campus, it's also very near the train station here, and there's a lot of pubs down there. Violence and sexual offences is the highest. Um, we've got here, so near the casino, in fact this is the casino, aye aye, public order, drugs and other theft. So it's really interesting. If you want to see what's going on in your area, have a look. I don't know if you're meant to do this right, but I have a look when I'm looking to buy a house as well. I want to see what the area's like. Um, I used to live in South East Sheffield. So let's have a look. S12. I'm not going to give you my actual ad old address because that'd be really weird. But I don't live there now, so you can't find me there anyway. So this is South East Sheffield. Let's have a look. Um, uh, let's go down here. It's quite nice. So Crystal Peaks, I know Crystal Peaks, shopping centre. Wouldn't be surprised if we get lots of shoplifting down here. Yep, shoplifting eight, obviously you're in a, you've got Asda, people steal from Asda. Shoplifting for Crystal Peaks, you wouldn't not expect that. Now, we've got some pubs. Let's have a look for some pubs, shall we, around this area. 
So we have, you've got me giving you the pub tour of Sheffield now. Okay, so there is a pub around here, Steelers Sports Bar, which is a sports bar um, and we get quite a lot of stuff down there. So you can see around this area, we've got Vans and Sexual Offences. That's just on that road. So that might be someone's house. I'll zoom out. I don't want to show you that. Um, yeah, you've got all this stuff around here. So burglary, criminal damage, arson, drugs, etc. in this area. And it's very close, <laughs> but it might not always be completely right in terms of exactly where it is in the map. So there's one here, look down here on uh, Alport Drive, which is putting us squarely in the middle of the road. So we're saying antisocial behaviour is definitely here on the middle of this road. It could be around here somewhere. It's just where they've recorded it. So look at the crime details on here, look. So it's antisocial behaviour. It tells what type of behaviour it is, personal, environmental and nuisance. There's no crime thing on there at the moment, so we don't really know what's happened with that. But if you do click that, sometimes it'll tell you what's happened, the result of the crime. Has it been, is it gone to court, etc. So it's very interesting. And you can edit it by crime, which is obviously pretty interesting. You can tailor it for yourself. So I want ASB and it'll show me exactly where all the antisocial behaviours are. If I just scroll out a bit. There you go. Where all the antisocial behaviour is. And I can be like, oh, in this particular area, antisocial behaviour is pretty bad. We've got here, Westfield and it's social behavior, and it'll tell us exactly where it all is. And that's where you can start matching your resources to demand and putting things where they need to be. So this is police.uk. That's one of the places where I get my information. Now, I'm also gonna show you the College of Policing website. So not only do I get my statistics from real places, I get the legislation I talk about from real places too. Now, this is something you might wanna use if you are uh, studying and you want to tell us what the College of Policing do about stuff. So it tells us all about everything, Code of Ethics, and this is all fresh, it's new, it's not out of date yet because it's right here, right now at the time. Now, I've just clicked something called the APP, which is the Authorised Professional Practice, and this means, this is telling you what you're allowed to do, what you're meant to do as police officers for this particular thing. Now let's have a look at investigation. Investigation is fun, right? So this is telling us the processes in relation to investigation. And this is where police trainers get their information from. So this tells us how we teach you and what we tell you about. So you've got all this stuff here. Let's look at forensics. Where are my qualifications in forensics? Well, a lot of them. I've got criminology, got forensics, criminal justice, policing. So here you go, it's telling us all the different things you need to do. It tells us about Lockhart's principal exchange. Oh, I miss Lockhart. I really miss teaching forensic science. I think that's one thing I miss is teaching forensic science. Um, yeah, it tells us all about that stuff there. So this is where all of the information comes from that the police officers get trained today. It's where I get it from. And Blackstones as well, definitely a shout out to Blackstones. So just those two things for now, where we get a lot of the information from. So you've got uh, police at UK, you've got the College of Policing. Now, we've also got the Crime Survey for England and Wales. So if you just pop into one of your search engines, the ONS or the Office for National Statistics, it'll bring you out here. And this is where you can find all the stuff to compare your crime data. So you've just had all that from police at UK, right? And now you can get other stuff from here as well. We'll have a quick look, let's look at the main points. Um, it'll tell us a bit of like a snapshot about what's happening. Victim-based crime has generally decreased over the last 10 years. Well, that's great. Such as noble exceptions, such as sexual assault, not so great. So it tells us all this stuff here. And you can get specific data in relation to specific crimes. So we'll look at stalking and harassment. And it tells you how things have changed in the last recordable year. This is great for your studies. And also, obviously, if you're particularly interested in that type of thing. I hope this is helpful. So, um, yeah, you asked me where I get some of my information from. This is it. I hope that helps and I will speak to you soon. Stay safe, look after each other and please don't commit any crimes.